Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how VectorCast integrates with requirements tools such as Doors and Polarian. And to use that I'm going to use Doors, but the procedure that I do, the import and the export, um, is the same, pretty much the same no matter what requirements tool you're using. So first of all I'm going to show you that I'm starting with the requirements um, database in Doors. It's just a VC demo with functional requirements. And we're going to import those requirements that you see here, these requirements here. We're going to import these requirements into VectorCast from Doors. So to do that, we're going to open up our requirements gateway here. Here's our requirements gateway tool. Um, and you notice that once you open up requirements gateway, it asks you what your Doors, um, I'm sorry, it asks you what your requirements tool is. In this case, we're going to choose Doors, but you can also choose Requisite Pro or Polarian, Jama, Integrity, Codebeamer, IBM, CLM. Um, or CSV. So the nice thing about having CSV support is if your requirements tool is not listed here, then what you can do is most of the requirements tools allow you to export requirements to CSV, and then you can import those into VectorCast. It's one extra step, but it, but it accomplishes the same goal, and that goal being to get your requirements into VectorCast. Um, and then on the export, you could export from VectorCast to CSV, and then import from CSV into your requirements tool. We also have a custom integration. If you want to do your own Python script to integrate with your, uh, or to be able to pull requirements down from your requirements tool. Um, but we're going to do doors. And so it asks you for the Python script name. In this case, it's just doors gateway. Um, if we were doing a custom one, we choose custom. But for doors, we're just going to use the doors gateway. It asks for a path to your doors client. And then this is my database, user, password, and this module path. So I've already gone through this once, so we have the full path here. But if you did not have the full path, you could just do this, and you could get to the base to find modules. And VectorCast will query the doors database and find out what um, modules are available. In this case, I found VC Demo. So we're going to choose VC Demo. And then we're going to do find modules. This time we're going to find the functional requirements. If you notice from back to this view here, here's our functional requirements. So this time we found VC demo functional requirements. So we can choose this and hit find modules again. And that should be all that we find. There shouldn't be anything beyond that. Nope. So that's it. So now we have, we're going to pull in requirements from our functional requirements. So then we go to the import tab. So when VectorCast queries your uh, database, it returns back a list of attributes. And then you will need to link these attributes to the attributes that VectorCast needs, those being the key, the ID, the title, the description. So we've mapped these to the requirement key, the requirement ID, the object heading, the object text. So those are the four attributes that we're going to pull down from doors. Click on import, and it's going to query the the doors database and pull down uh, those requirements. So then once the import is finished, we go to the view and here's our requirements. So the next step is that we want to create tests against this requirements and link these requirements to those tests. So over here, I've got manager, uh, manager.c, which is a one of the uh, files or the unit under test, so it's a .c file that is linked to these requirements. So we're going to create tests against some of these uh, functions inside manager uh, that meet some of these requirements. So let's find one that we can do this with. Um, here's one, clearing a table resets check total. So we go over to clear table, insert test case, and let's rename it to reset check total, okay? Um, and then we're going to spoof out our, since we don't have a real database for unit testing, we're going to spoof it up. We're gonna do a mock here and return a check total of $53.53, okay? And then in our update table record, we should have cleared it, so we should be updating with a check total of zero. So put a zero in here. Uh, we probably need a table number here, so we'll do table number one. Uh, and now let's go link our requirement. Clearing a table resets check total. Double click on it, shows up in the list here. Run our test. Our test passes, we'll go show you the execution report. You can see for table number one, we had a check total of $53.53. Now we have a check total of zero. Um, now if we go look at our test case management report, 
<clears throat> you can see a new field has been added called requirements. You see reset check total when it was ran, it passed, and here's the requirements that it links to. So let's do uh, let's do one more. So let's go back to our requirements, and let's find another requirement. Um, here we go. Placing an order updates check total. That's an easy one. You go to place order, insert test case, call this um, update check total total, and then let's uh, place in table one, seat two, and let's order some lobster. I know lobster, I happen to know lobster costs $18. So let's assume just um, that our previous check total was $10.50. And then we take our $10.50, we add it to our 18, it should be $28.50. So um, let's go link that to our, to our requirement. Placing an order updates check total. Let's run our test. We get our execution report shows that we ordered some lobster. We did have a check total of $10.50. Now we have a check total of $28.50. So our test pass. We go look at our test case management report. Now we have placing an order updates check total. Okay, so now we have our test case passing. We have our linkage to our requirements. Now we wanna export this back to doors so that from doors we can see what test cases link to what requirements. So let's come into our requirements gateway. We'll go to the export tab this time. So in here, uh, Vectorcast has environment name, test case name, and pass fill status. We want to export those back to attributes inside of doors. So we're gonna export those back to these three attributes, Vcast environment name, Vcast test name, and Vcast test status. And these are three attributes that we just added to our vector to our doors database. Um, so if you were exporting these back to doors database, you would need to add similar attributes to to uh, to um, to be able to export back to. So um, once we click, let me make sure my doors database my yep it's closed. Uh, then we're going to export back. You have to have your doors view closed, or it won't, or you'll get an export error. So we're starting the export. So we exported those two back. So now. If we go look at our doors database, so we've added a test view up here that basically just shows those three attributes we just talked about. So switch to our test view, come in here. Now you see test environment is manager for placing an order updates check total and also for clearing a table resets check total, test case name, update check total. And if you look over here, over on the left hand side in the vector cast view, update place order has update check total, update check total. Clear table has reset check total. Down here in our doors database, we have reset check total. So it all matches our pass fail status. So now you can see that we have, um, we've imported requirements from our doors database. We've linked those requirements to test cases. We've ran the tests. We've shown the reports. So let's go back to the report. We've shown the reports that show that linkage. And then we exported those results back to our doors database and we're able to see inside of our doors database that linkage from requirements to test cases. So um, that concludes the doors part of it. The other thing I did want to mention is that, um, as I kind of mentioned earlier, the uh, all the other systems work very similar to doors in that you import requirements, you link them to test cases, you export those back to uh, your data, to your to your requirements tool. The one, the one exception is IBM CLM. It's, a, it's our newest integration. It has some more features than that. You can still do the basic stuff such as import and export, but I think some, some more features have been added onto that above and beyond uh, the basic functionality we just talked about. So that concludes my demo. Um, I hope you guys have um, a very great day. Thank you. Bye.